If you're low on storage space on your iPhone, the last thing you want is a several gigabyte update taking space that you could use for pictures and apps. The downside is that iOS updates automatically download and install. Even if you disable that feature, chances are it's gonna automatically download when the device is charging at the very least, taking up space on your device. If you need more room right away, or if you don't want to update your phone, I'm gonna show you in this video how to remove an already downloaded iOS update. So I have an update that's already downloaded and ready to be installed on this iPhone. Let's go ahead into settings and I will show you what we mean. So we'll go to general and then software update. And as you can see, we have iOS 13.3.1 currently downloaded. I need 50% battery to install. So it's not ready to install because I don't have enough battery, but it is downloaded. So how do we get rid of that? Well, let's go back to general and then we will go down to iPhone storage. As you can see, this is a pretty cool page where it gives you a lot of the information on storage space on your iPhone. This one has 256 gigabytes, so space is not an issue on this specific phone. But if you have a phone that's already filled up, this is definitely something you might want to do. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see we have iOS 13.3.1. This is taking up 639.1 megabytes of space. It's a mediumly large size update, but especially bigger ones like iOS 13.3, those are several gigabytes in size. So we wanna get rid of that. We'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, we get a little bit more information about the update, but we can also choose to delete it. Now it says here, you can re-download the software update later in the software update settings. So we're not getting rid of this for good. You can download this again if you want to. But let's go ahead and delete that update. And now if we go ahead and refresh the page, that is now gone. We have more space available on our phone. Go back to software update, and now you can see an option to download and install. So we can now re-download this. Before it just showed us the option to install because it was already downloaded, but now it is gone. So we can now re-download it if you want to at some point in the future. That is all for this real quick video. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to leave this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark at Tech and I will see you in the next one.